back and welcome to a new episode of Tales of Bazaar. So, yeah, we're gonna continue and find out the lizard man. There are two more exclamation points, so let's see. Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma Area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend, is that it? Indeed, if your Alpha Forces and my Gamma Forces work together, Beta Area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an Alliance Alpha Area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Helleve's Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight, it's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance! Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. That was something for the beginning. Okay, where's the other one? Wait, what is another? Wait, can I enter here? Huh. I can enter. Yeah. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Oh, yes. Ignore me, I just look in now. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. Is there a camera mode in this? Okay, I. I is very bad. Well, I guess nothing here. is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day! Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him! Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. Okay, this is kind of ironic to say this global and cool thing and not warming. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports Flamestone and Sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of Flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives? Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. With pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Halloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise.
Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there, sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame then? Wait, you don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. I see a village. Let's go ask around. Always ready to fight. We're finished here. Let's go. Look, there's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. It's a princessia. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. I see. Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. The time is nigh, Selica. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no, I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know, I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh... You also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, you... You're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her a princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what princessias signify? Betrayal. Oh? I'm actually curious if flowers actually, like I mean in real life, not that rose like, you know, love and stuff, but Actually, flowers that mean like death and negative stuff. Oh, a camera. And I don't think I'm gonna explore that. I'm gonna just do the quest. Okay, let's go. Thank goodness. 
goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... Everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands. And yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once. And the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine. You can tell me. I'll keep it a secret. I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're hand-picked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? Just some common wisdom. That's one fine yak you've got there. What an adorable face. You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <coughs> ah, that, that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. <coughs> I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. This village seems much more run down than Helavis was. 
This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh well, yeah. That exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. Wait. My granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Okay. I don't know, guess we can. Food's ready. It's nothing special. Okay. Ah, oh, now that hit the spot. <laughs> hey, Velvet, can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want. But just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So, about that whole apple thing. You can't taste anything? Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm... I'm sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. I would say, no way that you actually, can, even if you have the recipe for something, you can not actually, although Roku, he almost become her food if didn't she break up early. Oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's just the kind of demon I am.
I'll end this quickly. Deception! 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 See this? See this? Deception! I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is... Hag. Am I right? What? Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. Well, you're gonna beat up her lads. Okay. I think I'm about trying to skip the minions fights and stuff because of this slide. So I have to explore another skip. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste... Hmm... You said you Therians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth and variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Eh, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that you're a demon, huh? Oh, what is that? What is it? Oh! Oh! So now I can tell you. Wait, just a minute. Now I have to. 